Little Green Pig ran a successful pilot of the Transitions project in Brighton and we wanted to broaden that out to other areas so we brought that to West Sussex and to the Burgess Hill Academy. This has just been an opportunity for a small group of pupils to work a little bit more in depth to have a chance to really explore some of their feelings and their anxieties and worries around um, coming to secondary school. I think the scariest thing for them is the unknown. Um, they don't know what the school will be like, what their teachers are like, if they'll ever see their friends again, if they'll embarrass themselves and really being forced to grow up so quickly. We introduced them to that beautiful quotation from a poem which is, what if I fall but darling, what if you fly? And we use that to inspire them, you know, that, to look at all our sort of what if anxious thoughts and not allowing those thoughts to sort of paralyze us and freeze us and stop us but actually to sort of face the fear in a kind and gentle way with the the sort of knowledge that it might actually open up into something exciting and beautiful and and you know a great life experience i think it's great for the kids to use their imagination to get out of the classroom environment, to talk about their feelings, their emotions, their fears, and in a safe environment, be able to share with other peers. We gave them all like t-shirts to write on, and on one side they wrote their sort of anxious, what if, what if this happened? And on the other side it was, but, what if? And it was the sort of positive thing that could come from that. So it might be, what if I get lost in the corridors? But what if, when I'm lost, I meet a uh, year nine who helps me find my way and then we become really good friends? What if I get detention? But what if I meet my best friend there? What if I'm not a player on the school football team? But what if I am the captain? What if I miss a goal in netball? What if my ball is electric? What if, what if I make a fool of myself? What if I make everyone laugh? What if I choke on water what if, in class? What if I give the teacher a free shower? What if I can't find my way around? But what if I, a invisible man helps me? What if I think I am not smart? But if, what if the smartest man teaches me? This is a scroll to year six and remember to listen to the advice. Don't have a long tie. Only talk about homework. Don't run to lunch. Direct benefits can be very basic to the point of being comfortable with a school site, knowing their way around, which has been proven to be one of the top anxieties for students coming into a new secondary school, getting lost. The additional benefits from something like this is where they are being able to formulate their ideas and understanding of themselves and their own fears, worries, and being able to communicate them effectively, whether it's to staff or to friends and even take them home to explain to parents and parents can support them. A lot of the time anxieties come from parents themselves worried about their children growing up and going to a, a new school and they can often kind of transfer those onto the students themselves. So students learning how to understand themselves, learning how to communicate their thoughts, their worries and share them effectively can solve a lot of issues for, for them and their parents before they even come into the school. Top tip, on your first day don't be nervous because people normally introduce themselves and like me, I couldn't remember anyone's names so try not to be nervous if that ever happens. During the summer holidays make sure you pack everything you have before coming to school because you won't panic and you will be fine then. Let your feelings run wild and make sure not to, not to be scared. Projects like this are just valuable in giving students opportunities to explore a new school at the very basic level, foundation level, the exposure to kind of spend time in a new setting, working with new students, new staff, being exposed to a secondary way of life, which is very different to a primary school, certainly. Uh, and this project in particular has been great because without other provision in place due to kind of some of the COVID restrictions, we've been able to benefit 15 students being exposed to additional provision which wouldn't be normally available. Don't use your phone unless you ask. The food is nice. Try your best and always make friends. <laughs>